Hi guys and welcome to Mechano Creations. So today I will be talking about how I made this base uh, for my medieval cottage and in case you are interested in the cottage itself you can check out the last video I uploaded the link is there on the top right as well as in the description. So I started by placing the cottage on a sheet of thermocol. It is also known as styrofoam to some so anyway you could use any material similar to this to create the base. Once I marked out the overall dimensions, I cut out the shape uh, and sanded it lightly with a fine sandpaper. After that, I used a 2mm MDF board to provide some strength and support for the base. I marked the outline and then cut it out using a sharp hobby knife. I then used a generous amount of glue to bond these two surfaces together. After the glue has cured, I started uh, creating the surface for this base. Now generally in this hobby most people would be using some kind of modeling mix but uh, for this I use uh, just white cement which I which is generally used as a grouting material for tiles. I mixed it with water and then spread it all over the surface. I used my hand to smooth out the surface and then let it dry. Once it's around 40 to 50 percent dry I used ruler to create the tile texture for the waste. I let it set for some more time after that then used some aluminium foil to create some stone textures. I have previously demonstrated this method in one of my earlier videos as well, so do check it out. I put the link in the top right as well as in the description. Once this dries, you can see the unevenness of the surface and this texture will be more visible when I do dry brushing at the end. Once this base is completely dry, I also did the curb using epoxy clay. Unfortunately my mobile was out of power so couldn't film that part, but uh, here you can see how the final piece looks uh, before painting. As a base coat, I mixed black with some amount of white glue and bit of water and spread the color all over the surface. The glue will uh, really help to bond the surface. Once dry, I used a medium gray as the stone color and also used uh, different shades of this color to provide some variety. The last step of this is to use a black wash which will tie all of these shades together. As a tip, to help speed up the process, you could use a hair dryer to quickly dry these colors before you move on to the next step. The last step now is to do some heavy dry brushing to highlight the raised surfaces of this base. This step, uh, this step really brings out the textures and makes this look very realistic. As you can see this base looks really good and it helps to display this uh, medieval cottage. I will be following the same process for some of the other projects I have in mind. So do follow this channel, share and subscribe. Till we meet next time, take care and goodbye.